what a sad day yesterday was. Um, as I said in a post that I created, I'm not a monarchist, but um, Queen Elizabeth II has been in my life, uh, all of my life. Um, so it's um, it's very just sad to think that that, that era is over. Um, we spent yesterday afternoon and evening without any without the television on because I just couldn't face watching the whole um, um, news system waiting and talking about things that we all knew about talking about stuff we'd all seen over the years replaying stuff all waiting for an announcement it, it's I just couldn't bear to look at that so we left the television off and um we went out we went out at um just after seven o'clock so we we didn't know what the news was at that time went out and we ate in a local restaurant and then um on the way home i picked up my phone because we'd left our phones in the car deliberately picked up my phone and there was a text message from the narcissist osteopath and i didn't know it was from her because I've blocked her, I thought I'd blocked her number, so it didn't come through with any identification of who had written it, but it was, uh, it was a, I can't remember, I had the word in my head, but I can't remember it now, but it was, it was just a, a whole message about how awful, how terrible for you, our queen, your queen, um, completely missing the fact that Mark and I are not, not monarchists and we're very sad that a 96 year old woman who we've known all our lives has died and 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 all of what that entails but not that same level of um distress that she was suggesting so it completely sort of solidifies that she you know despite her engagement with both of us over two or three years she had no idea no idea at all and um it was only when i got home and googled the number i realized it was her so so that's how i found out that's how we found out that queen elizabeth ii had died um in a text message on my phone as we were coming home at about i don't know nine o'clock half nine um i noticed on um twitter last night um and probably elsewhere on social media there's a whole thing going on about Megan again um and and even some people you know um some woman whose name I can't remember and I for some reason I'm having really internet problems so I can't even look it up um but but she is an ex lover of Boris Johnson's was tweeting last night and blaming Megan and Harry for the death of a 96 year old woman um lots of people giving Megan a hard time blaming her you know um as if somehow Meghan had murdered the Queen. Um, completely missing the fact that one biology means that the Queen has died. You know, she was 96. You, we all reach a point in our lives where our body begins to give up. And her body had begun to give up a few days ago. Um, so it's Meghan's fault and it's not Prince Andrew's fault. Bloody hell. Um, so this this whole thing, this whole uproar, this whole frenzy around Meghan, um, and, and and what happens is is people are so distressed that they have to kick something. So it's Meghan that gets kicked. Um, it's awful, and I think the thing that makes me more sad, or the, the saddest thing for me, is that one of I think her last official engagement was to meet with um, Liz Truss. And before that, because I don't think she met them together, she would have had to have met Johnson. And I think awful, awful end to her life to have to meet two people, one of who lied to her at least once. We know that he lied once. God knows how many times he lied before to her, to the Queen. Um, and then Liz Truss, who... Well, I'm not going to say anything about this trust. It's not what this is about. So, yeah, I'm really sad that that was how 
the end of her the end of her reign was to meet those i wonder part of me wonders whether she waited to see the back of johnson it could be it could be she waited to see the back of him um she looked terribly frail really frail in that photo i uh, just shared of her yesterday um standing in front of that fireplace and i i haven't looked because that's not what i'm going to do but but I wonder if you searched for that same room at Balmoral and you searched for a picture of her in front of it at a younger time. She may have looked taller because she looked smaller, I think, in the photo that we that I shared and that had been shared on social media or in the papers. I think it was one of the papers. Um, it looks like the the um, the children, Harry and Meghan's children, will be. Um, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. I read somewhere that that um, could change if Charles decides otherwise, which would be incredibly vindictive if he did that. Um, I can't imagine. Um, I can't imagine a king. I can't imagine God save the king. I can't imagine all of that surrounding that. And I imagine there's loads of us that can't imagine that. Um, you know, I've only known God Save the Queen for 67 years. Um, it's going to be really weird to, to be, you know, for all of those changes that are going to take place. Um, I had started to read before I lost my internet. I don't know what I'm having real computer problems. I had started to read what to expect in 10 days of mourning. And of course, I haven't been able to read it, so I can't even tell you. I'll share the link with you. Um, 10 days of mourning in the UK. And um, I thought I read yesterday that the funeral will be in um, seven days time. It could well be because, I mean, obviously everything's been planned for years. So they just have to put it into place. It's not like they've got to start from scratch. I don't know what 10 days of more. There's been no, I think I read there'd be no football on the telly. I wonder whether it was sport rather than just football. Feels a bit mean, doesn't it, if it's just football and not sport. Um, so my vlogs are going to be a bit muddled because I launched or published a vlog last night whilst I was out because you schedule your vlogs to um, publish at a certain time and... Um, I published it, and I it wasn't controversial. It was the the the, the drive through France, which I published last night, and then decided that actually publishing a vlog hadn't been appropriate, so I unpublished it. Um, so that has re-published um, this this morning, um, and this morning is Friday morning, and I have a um, ranty vlog that I recorded yesterday which um, I'm going to delay so you'll see this vlog on Friday evening this vlog and then the ranty one I've delayed I might publish it tomorrow uh, I'm not you know it's it's um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be doing 10 days of mourning that's ridiculous it, it's not what I'm gonna be doing um, And my channel's so small, it's not really, you know, it, it's a bit grandiose, isn't it, to think that I have to do all of those things and, and be careful what I do and, and whatever. That's a bit grandiose. Um, I was rather shocked that the um, Chateau Diaries went aired with their vlog last night. That, that seemed really inappropriate under the circumstances. And a lot of people that I know were not happy about it. Um, and there had been time for them to pull it. They didn't need to, they didn't need to publish it, but they did. And there's somebody else who I don't follow, somebody Montague, who also published a vlog that pissed a lot of people off. Um, I noticed yesterday on Twitter, there seemed to be quite a few narcissists out having their say and my sense is that 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 with narcissists they don't like their 
um, they don't like somebody being um, centre stage. They like, they, you know, they've got to be up there too. And I think that's what was going on. I don't know. I mean, it's just my bubble on Twitter. And I, I look at my Twitter feed sometimes and think, oh, you know, I wonder how, um, whether it's broad enough. I don't think it is. We, you know, you choose people on Twitter that you're like-minded with. So you end up with a rather biased feed. And um, I don't know, maybe... Maybe if it was broader, my Twitter feed, I might have seen something different, but I could see, yeah, what I saw. Lots of people angry at Meghan and Harry, uh, uh, you know. And they don't live, they don't know what their lives are like. They have no idea what it's like to live the life that they've led. No idea. Anyway. I'm not going to do any more. I'm not going to say any more. So you might, my vlogs will be a bit um, out of kilter, out of sync. I imagine that'll be, um, uh, we'll all feel a bit out of silk, out of kilter and out of sync over the next few days because it's going to be really weird. Um, I, so I haven't got the telly on. I don't turn the telly on when I get up. Mark's not up yet. Um, and once the television goes on, that's it because there'll be the news and... Um, that normally sets me off. In fact, the vlog that you'll see maybe tomorrow is about something that set me off on the news yesterday morning before the Queen had died. Um, really pushed my buttons and, and, and I yeah, I, my buttons were pushed. And um, you, But you'll see that on another day, not today. So have a good Friday or whatever day it is when you receive this. And um, I hope that you um or managing your grief well if this is um more devastating for you than it is for me i'll share a link to there's a small link that i found yesterday or came across yesterday of the queen and david attenborough having a bit of a chat which was was quite nice and of course david attenborough for for us he he's our king and so he's he's the one left now. It's like the two of them, they're with the same age and he's the one left. And it's like, that's going to be where I get devastated and where Mark gets devastated when David Attenborough goes. So uh, no pressure, David.